Like, where do they want me to drain this from? There's literally nothing to drain it from. I'm gonna just add fluid. Bro, where is the fluid going? <laughs> Hello? Um, this car's thirsty. I don't know. My man's really came here to a shop. Paid $43 for some washer fluid. I don't know. All I know is I lost seven bucks on this order. <laughs> that is a damn shame. Hey guys, my name is Kern and welcome back to Octane Treat the Road here on YouTube that never ends. And today is a very exciting day because as you guys can see on your screen, we have Car Mechanic Simulator 2021 here launched. And a lot of you guys have been wanting me to play this and have been anticipating it. I've been really wanting to play it as well and I finally have some time to go ahead and do that here today. And this is my very first time launching the game. I haven't done anything but besides tweak a little bit of the volume so that you guys can hear me properly in the video. And just before we get into this gameplay, I do want to make a quick announcement here, guys. Octane Street is now on Twitch, as you guys can see by this image here. You can go ahead and type in twitch.tv slash Octane Streak. That's S-T-R-E-A-K. And you guys will be able to find my channel there because I do plan to live stream future episodes of Car Mechanic Simulator on my Twitch channel, as well as, of course, keep the normal uploads here on the channel. Uh, but for Twitch, we will be playing the games live there. Other games as well, like Need for Speed, Forza, The Crew, older games as well, like Minute Club. So I do have a plethora of car and racing games that I already own. And I gaming is a, a, is a second passion of mine as well, along with cars. So I'd be more than happy to play these games with you guys and for you guys on Twitch. Again, that's twitch.tv slash OctaneStreak if you want to see more content like this, but if you also want to be hanging live with me in the chat over there. And just to also let you guys know quickly why I didn't choose to live stream on YouTube itself is because I don't want my YouTube channel to be flooded with a bunch of gaming type content. So that's why I want to keep Twitch for the gaming and the live stuff over there. And then YouTube will have our real life car videos as well as the mechanic simulator series because it ties in very well with the channel. And I know that that's what you guys love. So definitely don't worry. Uh, if you don't want to go over to Twitch, that's no problem. But if you do, it's twitch.tv slash octane streak. I hope to see you guys there, but for now, let's talk about this Diablo staring at me on my screen. Beautiful, the graphics looks absolutely beautiful. The soundtrack uh, seems more kind of like uh, EDM-esque as opposed to rock, which I believe was the, the theme of most music for uh, CMS 2018. So this is a nice change of pace and the menu definitely looks like it's been properly overhauled. It looks much more modern. So yeah, I'm excited to, to hop in here. And as you guys can see, I have no game file. Uh, it's cool that you could have multiple. I always love seeing the, that in games. So guys, let's go ahead and launch our very first file. And we're going to actually name it Octane Streak um, in honor of the new Twitch profile that we're starting here. And I guess we just click enter here. So, oh, we get to select the difficulty. Let's see. Easy, simplified, classic game mode, great for beginners, more starting money and less demanding orders, <laughs> less demanding orders. I feel like that kind of takes away from the purpose of a game like this. Um, so yeah, I don't really see why anyone would go with easy. If you chose easy mode, let me know in the comment section right below that like button, what your reason is. Um, but I think I want to go for, ooh, removed descriptions, parts and bolts outlines. That's pretty interesting. I definitely want to create an expert file sometime. Maybe we'll do that on Twitch later on. Um, but for now, for the for the YouTube content and stuff like that, I think I want to play normal because it's kind of like normal mode is kind of how the game is usually meant to be played. So I'm going to go ahead with normal. If it is your first play, we recommend to play basic tutorial. I'm going to skip the tutorial. I remember in CMS 2018, in my first episode, I skipped that tutorial as well by accident. However, this one I am going to skip on purpose because, you know, I don't know if the tutorial is any good in this game. In CMS 2018, a lot of you said that tutorial sucked anyway, so I didn't miss anything by skipping it. And we kind of already know the basics and how to play CMS uh, games. So let's see if we can just figure this one out. I do like the loading screen with the pistons going up and down. That's very cool. 
Although at this angle, it looks like it's uh, either V6 or just um, in line three. So that's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, super excited. Let's see what our shop looks like. I haven't seen any videos on this game, guys. So I'm going to be reading through this stuff because I actually want to know it for myself. So welcome to CMS 2021. I keep wanting to say 2018, but we're, we're, in, the, we're in the future now. This is your new garage. Take a look around and get to know your new workplace. You have... You have at your disposal an old, adapted gas station with its surroundings. Complete orders, purchase and renovate cars, and expand your garage. Good luck. Let's go ahead and hop in. This kind of... Ooh, whoa. That sensitivity is a little bit crazy. So I could definitely change that. But the fact that we're walking outside... Hold on. Let me just... Let me just take that in for a moment. Could I... You could run. Wow. Hey, hey, pick me up. Whoa, that, okay, I need to change the sense ASAP because this is gnarly. Um, surely they have a sensitivity. There we go. Let's go ahead and drop it to about half. Save. Exit. Yeah. Yeah, I think 50% is the move. And they do have the mouse acceleration still. So very, very cool that there's outdoor graphics. It looks like we're somewhere in El Paso, Texas. Possibly going to work on some spacecrafts with... Area 51. Ooh, that's an old caddy looking Chevy type Malibu type looking. Um, but yeah, very cool. We have a gas station now. Um, I seen in a comment that one of you left on my channel that we do have um, access to fluids in this game being, you know, brake fluid, uh, tranny fluid, I think was even one. Uh, wa washer fluid, I think was even one coolant stuff like that. So very cool just like the environment and the ambient sounds and noises i wonder if this is our tow truck so that we can actually go or flatbed rather so that we could actually pick cars up and stuff like that um but very 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 cool um at one of the shops where i worked we did also have our own gas source like this with uh gasoline in it so this is very very cool um i'm just kind of scoping out the area before we head into the main attraction of course I wonder if this is where our parked cars are going to be once we accumulate a few. Um, and I, this is probably, if I'm guessing, once we progress, going to be something that, you know, we build later on or purchase or something like that. So, very cool. I don't think we could jump in this game like we could in... Wait, were we... Oh, no, no. We couldn't jump. We could crouch. That's what we could do. Okay. Let's go ahead and head inside our shop. Let's use the door. Can we use the gate? We can use the gates. Okay. We're going to go through the door like a normal human being. <laughs> Ooh, so okay, we got yellow tire machines as opposed to red in the first one. We still have our toolbox, though non-interactable. Um, we got a big old school bus here. What's crazy is that, like, some of these things, like... Okay, I don't know how many people that play this game actually ever worked in a shop, but... Like, seeing things like this to pe for people who, who've never worked in a shop might be random as hell, but I swear to God, like, every shop you, you work at is going to have something like this, like a, f like a completely random school bus or a random-ass truck that hasn't seen the light of day in, like, 50 years. Like, there's just always random scrap vehicles all over the place, and so I kind of like that there's a random-ass school bus in here. I mean, I don't know what we were doing if this was a customer's... I don't know. I can't. I can't even begin to think. But we do have non-interactable lockers. I like that they've added a sink. That's one of the most important things in a shop. You definitely have to wash your hands about 50 times a day. Um, spring puller. So we have access to this right out the gate. I think in 2018 we had to um, actually unlock that or expand the shop to unlock it. And perhaps one of these days, who knows, we'll do a full episode going through the workplace first aid guide and some safety, some safety, um, safety tutorials, because that's always fun, right? Okay, so we do, we can still interact with our toolbox. Let's go ahead and look at a couple of, a couple of our skills here. So definitely changed up the tree and how it looks. I believe we start at the bottom here and work our way up as opposed to left to right. Um, oh... Wow. This is very cool. So this stuff just costs credits straight up uh, with highly varying prices, which is very cool. This is very, very cool. I like this. I'm very, very excited to get into some of these things. Oh, and you have your tools over here. So it's no longer just like 
one flat upgrade tree. And these I'm just gonna guess are like doing things faster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So these are like your passive abilities. And then for your tools, your active tools and to upgrade your garage. Very, very cool. Very, very cool. Good job. Good job, CMS. Uh, I like seeing stuff like that. Um, okay. So we still got some tires over here. All of them looking brand new. Cool, cool. So this is a much better shop, I would say, in the sense of realism. Because shops kind of kind of look like this, to be honest. And you know, even when you go, well, independent shops, I'll say. Not dealerships. Dealerships always look clean and stuff like that. And, you know, prissy and perfect. But independent shops definitely often. And you know what, guys? This is exactly how a lunchroom in a mechanic shop looks. I swear to God. This right here, a couple of these crates upside down, flipped over, and you're eating on that. That's your lunch. Or a couple of these boxes, whatever you want. You know, this is definitely the lunchroom right here. Pop a squat and get to get to munch in. So we do have a couple doors. Um, very, very cool. So I know, f I didn't know this in our first episode of CMS 2018, but I've definitely learned since that if we want to start, we got to start by taking some calls. So let's go ahead with the hammer chilling right on the phone wire. Oh, very interesting. Oh, so we can only have one job at a time and we unlock more slots for jobs as we level up. Very interesting. Um, I see they still don't have licenses for cars, so we're still using made up names. And in this game, it tells you the year of the car, which is pretty cool. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of a sucker for, you know, old school cars. I just love the look of like 70s, 80s, 90s, even cars. Like I'm just a huge fan uh, across the board. Um, but okay, so we have normal order, story order. Oh, this is a story order. Okay. I believe this is a story order. So let's see. Hi, I was just passing by and I noticed your repair shop. I like that it's like people just passing by, you know? Like, that's kind of realistic. And I mean, I don't really know who's driving by. We've seen a couple cars flying by, but like, what are you doing in the middle of nowhere? I have no idea. But um, maybe it's a great place to have a shop in the middle of nowhere because the last place people want to have car problems is in the middle of nowhere because then they have to get a tow truck and all this. So who knows? But anyway, hi, I was just passing by and I noticed your repair shop. It's good that somebody took care of that old ruined petrol station. Oh, so he kind of knows this place. The car that I'm coming with today is quite a recent purchase. It was used on a daily basis. The condition is rather okay. It would be good to check the oil levels and tires. That should be no problem for you. If you manage, then perhaps this won't be our last meeting. See ya. Okay, so we're starting off with an oil change and some tire pressure stuff. So let's go ahead and, oh, Oh, okay, so we do have another mission. Okay. I thought this was all one mission. That's my mistake. You know what? Let's start with a story. Ooh, hello. This. The back end looks like an Evo. Like this part back looks like an Evo and the front looks like a Honda slash Evo. So it's pretty interesting. Um, but very cool. The car models definitely seem a little bit more real if that's the word that i'm thinking of okay so let's go ahead and start with the story mission here let's take the order i don't i think we only have one slot right now to accept cars but let's see how this process is do we actually see the customer is the car just still going to appear here does the game even load anymore Ooh. okay so this is more realistic as well the car is not just going to magically appear in there it actually appears in the, uh, the door, so to say, or the gate, and we got to kind of drive it in ourselves. So let's see. This thing is so dusty. Like, we need a car wash ASAP. Start charging people. Um, but okay, tires and oil. So let's see if we can hop in here. So there's no oil in the engine. I don't like that because how did he bring the car here then? Unless it was towed here, which it very well, very well might have been. So let's open up the gate. The gate stays closed. That's kind of lame too. I kind of wish you could kind of just, you know, open that gate up and, you know, have it have it open space. Um. Okay. If it needs oil, oil is what it's going to get, but... Wait a minute. Am I overthinking things? 
Guys, I didn't learn anything from... I'm trying to swap. Does it mean I'm trying to engine swap that bus? Or that I'm trying to swap this car in with the bus? <laughs> because if I'm trying to engine swap a bus, I need to know this storyline and what the hell's going on. Okay, that's kind of lame, guys. Come on, CMS 2021. I was expecting more. I thought we would drive it in, kind of line it up. I guess that could cause for a lot of trolling to happen, but... You know, when they say I can't start the car, I thought maybe I had to put oil in it just to get it running, because that's how it is in real life. Like, if a car gets towed there, or if a car really has no oil, and you try to crank it and start it, and you just hear it knocking like crazy, first thing you do is you check the oil, and if it has no oil, you add a little bit just to get it in the shop, and then you could, you know, do a full oil change and stuff like that, so... A little bit disappointed on that end, but no, that's no big deal. Um, it's still a, it's still a, a pretty big... Um, upgrade over 2018, you know, where the car just automatically appears in here once you take an order. So that's pretty cool. Um, very cool. So we could see more reservoirs here, like the wind washer fluid. We have the brake or power steering reservoir, the brake uh, master cylinder. And what else do we have in here? Hmm. Very, very cool. So a lot of it is the same. I wonder if you could take stuff like this. Okay, stuff like this you still can't take from above. Because in real life, if you could reach your oil filter from up top, you, you kind of just would sometimes. Uh, it depends, obviously. Um, but okay, so we need tires. So we're going to have to lift this up. And Oh. Did I have to press the specific button? Wow, that's very cool. So if you want to go up, you just have to click up. If you want to go down, you just click down. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's see. Okay, this is a much different. So we could definitely see more stats about each vehicle, which is very, very cool. Change oil, drain oil, and refill with new, other tasks. Okay. Brake fluid, drain old, and refill with new. So I wonder if we actually have to bleed the brakes from each um bleed point in each wheel at each wheel i wonder if that's actually what we have to do if it is that's pretty cool it's a little bit tedious but that's pretty cool um change power steering fluid and refill wind washer fluid so the game immediately with the first story mission wants to let you know that hey we got fluids in this game we got all the fluids or not all of them but um we got some fluids in this game so that's pretty interesting um also needs brakes. You can mark things still, which is pretty cool. Like, what if I just mark everything? Because then that'll kind of show me what... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. They actually have lugs that are stuck now? Is it a lock? It's not a locking lug. Oh, so you spray some WD-40. Oh, guys, I thought you had to... They were just going to tell you to bust out the torch and immediately start torching shit off. Like, because if screws are really, really, really stuck or stripped in real life, that's kind of like one of the most extreme ways to get them off that, like, guarantees to work, depending where that screw is, of course. Um, so that's very cool. We can loosen it up with some WD-40. That's very interesting. A uh, very, very interesting. Wow, another one. <laughs> they call it D. They call it DW40. That's cool. Hey man, licenses, right? What can you do? Um, so that was 14%. That was 42%. Okay, not bad. Very, very cool. Let's go ahead and head over here. And we have another one that we're going to have to loosen up here. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's give us some time to sit. I, f I feel like it's so slow taking off, taking out lug nuts again. Like, I think I'm used to the speed up that we have in CMS 2018. Let's go ahead and spray that bad boy. Very cool. 
Okay, those are good. The pads needed to be changed. This rotor kind of looks good. Yeah, that rotor was fine, I believe. This car status just need oh, it's 46%. So we did have to replace that, okay. Let's go ahead and do the back. Interior detailing toolkit? That's cool. That's very cool. Wow. Is that a coin egg in the back? Uh, I think it is. All right, we can play some darts too. It'd be really cool if they made this interactive. You could actually just throw darts, chill. That'd be so sick. Anyway, let's get to it. Let's go ahead and drain it. And then our filter. Remove that. Okay. And let's go ahead and go shopping now. So everything with 46% or less. I'm hoping we have enough money to buy all these things. Ooh, could I? Why didn't they change that in the game? I wish you could remove it from your list with double right clicking it. Instead it just adds multiple, which I understand I guess, but there should be a way to remove from your list easily. So main shop. You know what? Let me take a look at those shops actually real quick. Interior license plate. Custom gearbox shop. Wow. Community cars body shop. That's dope. Add-ons. Uh, electronics. Rims. Body tuning. Body tuning? Is that like custom wide bodies and stuff? Tuning shop. That's very cool. Very, very cool. Very cool. All right, could I just? Oh, they made that so much. They made that so much better. I was trying to see if there's like a quick way to just buy the part as well. They made that so much easier. Holy. Wow. So much easier to buy your stuff now, guys. You don't have to type in anything. This is actually crazy. But there should be a way to quick buy it. I might be complaining too much. So we got all the parts we need. Let's go ahead and mount them and see what's going on. Wait, I have to bleed the brakes. I have to bleed the brakes. There's no way they want me to do that from here though, huh? Like there's supposed to be a little bleed valve. No, they, there's not here. The little, no it's not. So I think they only want you to change it from the master cylinder, the reservoir. Okay, understandable. It might be too tedious to have to do it properly, like bleed all the brakes and stuff like that. Okay, horseshoe. So now we need the tires. Tires machine. There we go. Separate parts. Gotta love this automatic automatic system. So we're gonna have to replace all four. No problem. Yo, I gotta get another time machine, just do double simultaneously. Alright, let's see what kind of wheels these are. Oh, it's not the wheels we gotta get, it's the actual just the tires, okay. So standard tire, 215, 75, 15, 215, 75, 15, 215, 75, 15, 215, 75, 15. 
standard 215 75 15 I just realized these are some thick tires for this car. Six hundred eighty dollars. Two fifteen seventy five fifteen. I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Otherwise, I just bought four of the wrong goddamn tires. That better not be the case. Yeah, same size. Good. cool they make you kind of do something that's pretty cool I don't mind it's a cool little mini game that's pretty fun it's not bad that's pretty funny that's actually pretty interesting because on real in real life, obviously you'd kind of let the machine do its thing. It'll line you up, and then you actually put the weights on. But um, that's that's pretty cool. Makes you do a little mini game. Oh, whoops. Not bad. So so far, there's a decent amount of changes. Um, and this is just the beginning, so I'm sure there's a lot more. Ooh, this one was poorly, poorly uh, balanced. That usually means the wheel might be a little bit bent or something like that. If you have to put so much weight on it. Um, okay, let's go ahead and mount these since I don't think we have to actually bleed every single brake. It's a square setup. We don't have to worry about... Um, you know, putting the wrong wheels on which way. Like, there's so many things about a shop in real life that are could be so intricate, you know? Like, even tires being rotational. Like, if they put that in the game, it, at, at a certain point, it just becomes too much of a hassle. Like, you just don't want to have to worry about rotating or certain rotation tires in-game. Um, so, yeah. I think, I think the hard part is finding the perfect balance between uh, realism... And okay, uh, realism and uh, like things that are just too much. Realism and simplicity, that's the perfect balance. There you go. All right. So let's take a look overall and see how we're looking. Fuel pump didn't replace that yet and the round air filter, no problem. Uh, we need to put new oil and brake fluid, power steering, washer fluid. Perfect. Let's go ahead and get that fuel pump in. Snipe it. There we go. Hmm. I didn't mean to do that. So silly. Don't I have to replace the whole brake server servo then? Because it's literally 42%. <laughs> Where is the button to... How do I just... There we go. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Is that at the max? Uh, a little bit more and we're good. Very interesting. I mean... Did I overfill it? Nah, you're good. You're good. That's pretty... <laughs> I 
It's pretty interesting. So you just have to worry about the cap. Yeah, you just have to worry about the cap. Okay. And I like that everything's kind of see-through, so you can kind of see it. I mean, the angle is a little bit off, but it slows you down anyway once you're about full. Could I put more? Oh, is that full full? Yeah, that looks full full. Top this guy up. All right, and so we got brake fluid, washer fluid, and oil is what it needed, right? That's it. All right. I think that's all that we need once it goes down like that. Okay. Yeah, I think I uh, I might have overdone it, folks. Let's go ahead and see. Nope, we're good. Perfect. All right. Okay, I want to say that the car should be done now. Power steering fluid. That's the fluid I forgot. I knew it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I almost took it off. Oof, gotta get used to that. Can we see this one though? Very interesting. Very, very cool. Not bad, you know, it's a little little extra something that you gotta do. And it kind of shows you the places that you might find them on cars. So it's it's even furtherly, if that's a word, educational. Which is always good. So let's go ahead and see now. Oh, I have to drain the old shit out. Yikes. That's a big yikes. A few moments later. Okay, well, I didn't see how to drain it, so... Like, where was I supposed to drain it from? That's something I'm gonna have to figure out I, there might have just been an option and I didn't see it so now I know we got to drain properly before putting in the new stuff wait there we go I'm getting thrown off by where the hell this red line is there we go all right car is done sir yep 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 all right finish order where's Okay, this is the total payout. I don't like that you have to have a separate uh, payout or page for the payout, but I mean, I guess it's okay. It makes sense. Um, $25 for the oil change. Interesting. All right, so we're, we're getting we're getting 2.1 grand back, which is how much do we spend? Does it show that? Does not show how much we spent, but we had four grand, I believe, and so I guess we spent about fifteen hundred, so six hundred profit. Not all that, but it's okay. Money's money. All right, let's go ahead and see now. Look at this sprint! Oh my god! Job done. All right, where my phone at? All right, so. What is this car logo? Oh my god. This is still just another Honda looking front. Um, let's go ahead and get this one. I'm surprised the call didn't leave yet. Unless it's like... Let's just see. This is a normal order. This is a normal order as well. So no store e-orders, I guess. Let's go ahead and take this order. Alright, so the car is out here. Wow. Wow would look kind of low-key nice if it was brushed up and cleaned not bad all right let's move it to the car lifter a okay so i imagine we can't use i don't know why okay that's just weird so what do you need what do you need All right, other tasks as provided. Train drill, windshield, washer fluid. Drain old and refill with new. Like, honestly, I don't even know how you how you drain this. 
you could just like hold down your your washer fluid stock until it, there's nothing else coming out and then fill it up why does it say drain old and refill with new like wh how are you supposed to drain this thing oh wow look at this it's coolant like where do they want me to drain this from there's literally nothing to drain it from I'm gonna just add fluid. Bro, where is the fluid going? <laughs> Hello? Um, this car's thirsty. I don't know. I do not know. How am I supposed to drain it? I actually don't know how to drain that. What the hell? I feel so lost. How am I supposed to drain this coolant? Alright, it's not even coolant. Watch your fluid. There's no hoses in this game, so I can't. It's not like I could just... Like, there's, lit there's literally nothing for me to drain it. Like... What do you mean, drain it? That's very, very weird. Am I actually supposed to go in the car and just like, use the washer fluid button? There's no way. I swear, you still can't ax you can't go inside the car while it's on the lift still. Come on. That's something they should have added to the game for sure. Um, don't know what else to do, but kind of just pay the 50 bucks. I don't know. I don't know if, if I'm missing something or what's going on, but that's kind of ridiculous. I don't know. I got to look that up because I'm clearly missing something. <laughs> it's obvious. Alright, let's get you all filled up there, bud. One more. There you go. Alright, you should be good to go. I lost money on this order? Where's the list? Where's this list that is provided? Like, this is not a list. This is a single item. My man's really came here to a shop. Paid $43 for some washer fluid. I don't know. All I know is I lost 7 bucks on this order. <laughs> that is a damn shame. I gotta figure it out, like... Like, maybe it's all going in the oil oil machine, or freaking oil drainer. Maybe it all goes in there. Maybe that's what I gotta do. Whoa, I spinned around way too much. Alright, see what else we got. We got poor brake performance and other tasks. Something tells me that this is just gonna be fluids because the wrench and it says other tasks even though this is fluid I guess it's oil we'll go ahead and take the brake job and I think what I'll do is I'll do a couple of these small jobs off camera uh, we got to experience a fairly big one wow this guy's car is kind of freaking clean like in CMS 2018 I don't think I've seen a single car this clean other than the Reptilia supercharge that I actually built up to 100% like this is the cleanest car that we've seen by far so it's good that you can actually get clean cars coming through because it's kind of ridiculous when you're only seeing shit boxes so um but yeah i think i'll do some of these small jobs offline or maybe on stream who knows and then what we could do is pick back up once things are picking up a little bit and we have a little bit more money we have a little bit more exp 
and we start tampering with some of the other things like the detailing kit and stuff like that so that's all for this episode guys hopefully you enjoyed it um i know it's not too crazy of a of an episode because first of all we're just starting and unlike our cms 2018 reveal that was my first time ever playing a mechanic game but ever since i played that one i'm a little bit more accustomed and kind of know what to expect um but you know what let's just head out here to take in the view because this is a pretty pretty cool thing so let's just take in the view here um but yeah, could we, wait, 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 wait. Oh, I thought we could actually go inside there. But um, so yeah, not too crazy, guys. But I promise you, hit that like button and more videos like this will be on the way. Um, but yeah, I enjoyed it so far. It's definitely much more clean of a game. The fluid situation, we definitely have to figure that out. I'm sure it's something stupid like draining your oil that I just didn't even realize. Um... But yeah, that's all for this time, guys. If you guys enjoyed what you saw here, then be sure to hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you guys can ride shotgun with me on the next video. See y'all later. Peace.